Hello Minotauros tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Warlock, Master of the Arcane, with me, Blue Enkilo. I just thought that was a cool name. Some of the names the uh, computer comes up with are the developers that gave the name list to the town <laughs> program, whatever, blah blah blah. Uh, sometimes I think they have good names. Quite funny. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome back. In the last episode, the war with, uh, what is this guy's name anyway? Ashhar the Wisest, who's not so wise for declaring war on me probably a hundred turns ago, because I'm finally getting to him now. Uh, the war kind of back and forth, you know, we, we lost... Did we lose anything? We lost the town, took it back, you know, how it goes. Um, they have a lot of fairly puny units, like goblins, seasoned goblin spearmen. You know, if he tries to bring those up against our trolls, they're dead. There's no way. Uh, and um, thanks to some lovely tornadoing, uh, we've killed most of their units. Uh, so that's the northeast. In the northwest, um, we're making slow progress. There's a lot of fairly strong units. Mostly, there's these deadly werewolves that keep killing us. They're hiding in the forests, and then they pop out and kill everything. Uh, they'll probably kill these things when I hit end turn. I would not be surprised. Uh, in the southwest, kind of a stalemate. Nothing's going on. In the southeast, uh, probably my assassins are about to die, and they keep sending boats to their death. In other world news, the outplanes are nearly tamed. There's just a few little pockets of dragons, and our buddy Tom, uh, who is our own pet dragon. Isn't he cute? He has two heads. Uh, so he, he even fits in. I think he may not be undead, but he kind of looks like he's undead. Um, if you want to read all kinds of stuff, you can. I don't have time for that in a Let's Play. Anyway, we're making lots of towns down here and we're doing pretty good. So let's end our turn and see what happens. Uh, sending out settlers. Thought I clicked yes. Ah, yeah. Uh, just get out of the way, buddy. And you can go through two. And also get out of the way, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, you're not going to kill my trolls. It's just not happening. You're going to shoot my skeletons. Not the smartest thing you've ever done. In fact, I'm happy that you're shooting him rather than my boat that's about to get destroyed. And my ghosts seem to be pretty good town defenders, seeing as not a whole lot of stuff can even hurt them. Uh, so that's nice. It's going to be hard for the computer to take out that town with ghosts in it. There's a den of ogres over here. And have we even met one of those before? They're uh, leviathans, I think. They can shoot at you and they're pretty much trouble. Uh, Alright, goodbye bats. You had a nice look and uh, that's all you get to see. We saw some holy ground, some dragon's nests and, you know. Ouch! Oh no. Not black minotaurs. Those are those damn werewolves. They're everywhere now. All right, Tom, let's see what you got. Yeah. Good job, Tom. Come on, minotaurs. Survive. And assassins? Yeah, yeah. There's lots of stuff over there in the place with the weird name that's moving, but there's nothing we can do about it. And we're meeting some earth elementals. Fairly good trade-off, I'd say. All right, it appears we have survived another turn. Uh, I remembered to start casting around a turn again, too. That's a smart thing to remember. Now, you guys, I'm not sure just yet. For now, let's just do some leveling up. Ah, yes, leveling up. Death magic? Death magic. Uh, shoot stuff. Oh, right, they're sort of getting away with themselves. Now, my poor boat. Rest up, buddy. Good luck. Uh, I think I'm going to try to kill those archers just in case they get any idea to attack my boat. And by kill those archers, I mean do nothing. <laughs> That's exactly what I expected to happen, actually. <laughs> uh, right, I can now recruit elven sharpshooters, which are probably really good archers, but they're also elves, so pyeh. Uh, and I've got more settlers. Round two of settler, Settlerville. Uh, 
YouTube settlers. You settler tubes? Something like that. No, I do not play Farmville. Um, or any such variety of bills or farming. Um, let's build some more stuff. Uh, money. Vampire mansions. Yeah, we got lots of vampires for now. If one dies, we just resurrect them anyway, so you don't have to really recruit too many units once that starts working. Uh, this place kind of sucks for everything, doesn't it? <laughs> not really very good at anything. Why don't you have another tower? Why not? <laughs> this place is useless. Ah, and that doesn't even have a name. That's probably why. Let's call it... Uh, what's a good name for a town that's not letting me rename it? Can I rename you now? Rename. Rename town? Mm, no. Doesn't want me to rename it. I'm not sure why. Seems to me this has happened before, but it doesn't... Whatever. You do not get a name, and when you do, it's going to be a bad name, because I'm mad at you. Uh, I seem to have a tornado ready for someone. Where would be a good place to tornado? I could tornado this place. Although it might hurt my ghosts. Yeah, I don't want to lose my ghosts. Uh, and there's just settlers up there. Um, so I could tornado them. I could tornado over here, but that's not that useful. could tornado up here. Hmm. I got this tornado ready and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I will do a trick. I'll move those guys out. Cast tornado there. Lovely tornado. And then move them back in. Aren't I just the trickiest? <laughs> yeah, slightly clever. <laughs> slightly above average clever. Clever, cleverity. There we go. That'll make it sound really smart. <laughs> and uh, these elder vampires are going to guard that. And these adepts are going to, I don't know, do something. I'm not sure what they're doing. So I'm going to send two settlers at least over here, because we need one up here and one over here. I could probably fill it in in the middle, but whatever. This guy is going to the adamantium. This guy is going to go to that one. One, two, three. He's going to try futilely to colonize that holy ground, probably by having to build there. Oh well. <laughs> I have lots of settlers. <laughs> They're expendable. My buddy Tom, you know what he could use? I know what he could use. He could use an upgrade. You can now have vampire, well, let's call them teeth. Vampiric teeth. Fight. And heal yourself. Yes. Good Tom. And uh, while we're here, we will try to clear out some dragons. Because this place is infested with red dragons. And we did pretty good at clearing those guys out, actually. Now, uh, what are you guys doing? Something? Probably should try to save my poor minotaurs. <laughs> my poor minotaurs. They're having a bad day. Um, what was I going to do with these guys? Maybe I should make a manly retreat with these before they are murdered. Uh, I <laughs> Hopefully I didn't just kill those vampires. My idea is that the fire elementals shouldn't hurt them as badly as the minotaurs did and also that the vamp the uh, werewolves here can only use this move every three turns it seems so I should be able to kill them hopefully in time that's my idea also no more kraken nest or whatever it was so that will work and you guys can guard the golden dragon eggs because that sounds important <laughs> I'm assuming you can get something cool from that and you guys, I wonder if you can get in there. Nope, not even close. Run away! <laughs> Bravely run away! Um, and up here, let's see. Uh, Earth elementals are fighting with my skeletons. Um, actually, let's kill those first. Make sure those are out of our hair. And we'll go to work back on the Earth elementals. So, good luck to you, skeletons. 
And my assassins... Uh, they survived. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, though. Death magic. That's not going to help against skeletons. They have a lot of different attacks, though. They do melee, elemental, spirit, life, death, all kinds of stuff. I don't even remember enchanting them, so that must just be from perks. So, For now, you can... I think they're supposed to be invisible when they're not beside anything, so maybe they can just hide there and rest. Maybe. Oh, I never upgraded these vampires? Well, it's your lucky day. You have now been fully upgraded to elder vampires with all kinds of perks. Lucky you. I don't know how I forgot them. My bad. Ah, uh, right. The lousy coastal town of not very good town with stinky elves. Uh... I guess that's all I can do for today. Continue. Onwards. Brave Minotaurs. Oh, right, I forgot about those guys. I always forget some. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you gonna do to Bluegrass? <laughs> that's a fun name of a town. Mm, at least they gave him a turn to heal up a little bit. Come on, skeletons. Not bad. Come on, ghosts. Excellent. I uh, I realized probably the time before where I said my ghosts were taking damage, it was actually probably the town that was taking damage and it just looked like the ghosts were getting hit by the, uh, the rat men. That's all. They're still immune to melee. All right, vampires, show your stuff. Ooh. Not good. Those court werewolves are deadly. Seven damage. Luckily, the fire elementals are not quite as deadly. Oh, cheap. I'm, oh, that was not fortuitous one bit. Um, new spell has been researched, my lord. You guys can move a little bit faster. That's probably helpful. Say, Say what? Say you should have some melee resistance or some movement, because movement, you guys are slow. You should also have... Oh, now that looks good. We obviously have finished another building. The uh, Let's find it. Gold mine, craftsman district, craftsman district, minotaur labyrinth. Now we can get tried by labyrinth for melee and creatures. So there's probably, including my trolls, excellent. We can give them plus 30% melee damage. Sweet. It's not the hugest of upgrades because it only affects their melee, not their overall power or whatever. But uh, I won't complain. It makes my trolls stronger. Look at them smashing that town to pieces. And we can now research the last spell because there's nothing else to research. Might as well. Uh, uh oh. Did that? The sea serpent killed our flying Gallius. That guy sucks. That was not very nice of him. I'm going to have to murder that guy. Four damage. Yeah, that's not going to work. Sea serpents. They are not your friends. Lessons from Blue Ankylo. <laughs> uh, you guys can build a mint. Sure. And this is a human town, so I haven't really built a lot of human stuff in other places, which is fine. Uh, so whatever. Just fill the land in. This place is growing, so it can now recruit settlers down here too. Why not? And I believe I said mana for this place. So uh, let's build up this direction. And now we've got a million units to move. Yep. Okay, so you guys... There's there's vampires up there, and... Actually, what I want to do is clear that off. Yeah. So there'll be no more trees, I don't think. And then you can move back and attack those guys again. And you guys can... I don't know if these guys are going to be very good against... Uh, vampires, so. At least we can have the first shot. 
And you got a critical hit even. Good job. That might help. And you guys. I, uh, I don't know. Just kill something at least, please. You guys can... Oh yeah, I forgot. I'll have lots of units that need that now. Tried by Labyrinth. Uh, Alright. It does appear that we're basically done in the uh, in this land. So, um, generally speaking, it's probably about time we started sending some of our units back through the portal uh, fairly soon, assuming uh, we can finish clearing all this stuff up in the reasonable future, or near future. Um, why can't you rest? I could have sworn this is a safe location. Well, keep moving away and then rest. Um, because we're having a couple troubles in the real land, the real world. So I think having a few more units up there that are super powerful, like these adepts of Lunord, is probably a good idea. That's my plan. Uh, bats can just rest there for now. I don't know what I really want to do with them. My plan to kill these wolves basically failed because they moved out of the way. <laughs> and... Oh, well, you know, why not? I'll try to, uh... <laughs> this probably isn't going to be very smart, but I'll, <laughs> I'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, what's a let's play without some risk-taking, basically? Uh, right, so settlers, you're going up to there. You're continuing your journey. You're going to make one... That seems like a good enough spot. Actually, those infernal rifts aren't that good. They just do research, I think. Uh, but whatever. Actually, you're going to stand there, and then I can just order this guy to go there, and then I can forget about him. And you can just, whatever, you know, hang out, chill out, have some pizza. Oh yeah, you're defending the golden dragon eggs, right. Uh, you. I should build something on this side, at least. What was that? just normal dragon eggs. Well, we already got gold ones coming, so they'll have to do. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Let's, uh, one, two, three... Two, three. I'll just build a town here. Why not? It just connects it to the... We have founded the, a new city. The, uh, thing there faster, and why not? And, uh, one, two, three, four... Sure, we can build one over there, too. I don't know what I'm doing. Just gonna build some towns. So they seem to leave those guys alone. That's nice. They should be invisible. And I'll get another town there. Lichwold. Sure. Founded, my lord. Now what about this town that I tried to rename? Kind of failtastically. Black Cliff. Is apparently unrenameable. It will not accept renaming. Now is that because there's a unit in there? I didn't think that would matter. Nope. It's the game. The game is telling me to stop renaming my cities and just play it. <laughs> That's what it's saying. <laughs> um, all right then. Uh, what else could we do? We should cast a spell. It's always good to keep casting magic. Um, what would be helpful? I think we're gonna find our buddy Tom again. Uh, what am I clicking? That was the wrong thing. This is the correct thing. We're going to give Tom, who can currently move only for four turns, per four whatever things per turn, we're going to speed him up a little bit. I'll give him Moonwalk, and we'll give him Haste. There we go. So he can now move six. Yeah. Next turn, we'll start giving him... Well, I'll give him Vampire. We'll give him uh, Fire and Spirit and stuff. Because Tom's our buddy. We've got to help him out a little bit. Yes. Uh, more units down in here. Yeah. Whatever. We're going to have a lot of settlers in the outplanes. I'm not sure what we... We don't really need them or anything, but hey. It'll be nice and settled. Trolls. Trolls. Ratville's not going to be doing so well. Which is bad, because I want to see what 
the uh, the ghostly thingamajigger or the, the pumpkin thing and the uh, the dwarf thing. I want to see what those give us. So I'm better try to strengthen up up here. Yeah, that's not good. Crap. Yeah, there's stuff going on. Crap adapt. Yes. Thank you, sea serpent. Kill the stinky rats. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good up there at all. I should have seen how much damage my vampires took. Oh, well. Uh, right. Vampires versus uh, Kotal Warlords. A new temple has been built, my lord. Excellent. We now have another temple to Lenord. I like it. And another level up. Good for you, adepts. You can have... Yeah, melee is a good idea at first, because I want them to survive longer. Melee resistance, that is, to be specific. Now, this town has seen happier days, for sure. Although, the one good thing is those units are all so nicely grouped up, I just... I feel I have to do this. <laughs> so much for the danger of losing Ratville. This serpent can beat on it all it wants. I do not think a serpent can walk into a town. I could be wrong, and I'll regret my decision in about a second, but I think it's okay. Actually, just in case, I'll sacrifice my skeleton warriors. Does it do elemental damage? Yes, it, that's why it's so dangerous. So I will give my probably soon-to-be-dead warriors some elemental resistance. Maybe they'll live. Maybe. Uh, meanwhile, Rattlevan has been conquered. And you know what? Like I said, I don't care. Goodbye, Rattlevan. <laughs> the trolls do not care for you. They are going to walk around and destroy all of your cities. And the ghosts, yeah, they're just going to defend for now. This will be my sort of farthest forward operation, basically, for now. Oh, and you gave me some settlers that I don't want. Goodbye, settlers. Ah, uh, yeah, just take a pot shot at it, I guess. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> Didn't even do one damage. Ah, uh, let's see. So we have the gold mines. This really should be a gold city. It's just, uh... You know, one thing that's interesting, because it made it to size 5 before, it maintains its, uh... Uh sphere of influence or aura of influence or whatever it's called even though it's shrunk afterwards so that's kind of cool I didn't know they did that it probably should shrink uh, to be fair but whatever it's all good so I made a couple farms here a couple mana things some money it's kind of the jack of all trades sort of town it has a little bit of everything so that's fine with me at this point in the game it's I really don't think it makes the hugest of differences what you do for selecting your town stuff. I could be wrong, and I'm about to die for it. You never know. Might as well build our ironworks. It doesn't really matter. You only need one of each uh, building, as far as I know, as well. So uh, There's not really a whole lot of point to build a ton of, uh, you know, silverwork ar armories or whatever they're called. And this place can have... they got all kinds of stuff. Well, I might as well use the excavations. It doesn't really help, but at least it puts something there, you know. <laughs> Alright, so how is this place doing? Um, kill those guys, that will help. And continue... well, annoying the Earth Elementals. Don't feed the Earth Elementals. Uh, you guys can just sentry, that'll do. And I think I was sending everyone back, uh, other than them. Oh yeah, my... Uh, uh, oh, he got a perk. Tried by Labyrinth. Wow. Even the dragon, our pet dragon Tom, has been through the Labyrinth. <laughs> I don't know how he got in exactly, but... <laughs> um, right. You guys can just travel around and spread your little cities around the planet. Tom is coming to the real world to make friends. Welcome 
to Ardania, Tom. You are going to go make friends um, up here, maybe. Where do we need help? He could go make friends with these guys. Yeah, let's go make friends with them. No one said hello to that guy yet. It's time to pay. Uh, yeah. He's our first flying unit, other than the scouts too, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, this might not work out so well for those vampires. Might have to back them off a little bit. Eh, uh, you guys can just sleep. Uh, settlers, where are you? Oh yeah, this is going to be a town. There you go. A new city has been founded, my lord. And right, I did move you, so it's my bad that you're awake this time. Uh. Sure. I don't know where these guys want to go, but uh, you can go somewhere. Just find somewhere to go is fine for me. And these guys finally going to heal up. They're having a hard time with that. <laughs> these guys are coming to the rescue. And you're going to be brave vampires. We'll see what happens. They might just die instantly, but we'll see. And my liches, it's time to return to Ardania as well. Oh, I built some stuff. Whatever. Good enough. Now, I want to keep casting spells on my pet, but uh, I had to use some other spell there. I must have. So I will prepare some fire weapons for him. And he can have that next turn. Uh, yeah, this is actually probably the smart place to end the episode, so I don't go way over time again. Um, so yeah, I think we're doing okay. Um, I love our pet, Tom. He looks pretty sweet, doesn't he? Uh, you know, he's only level 1, so we'll see what he gets once he starts leveling up. Then he'll be fun. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. So, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching again, and I hope you've enjoyed. Still having an awesome time playing this game, even though we're getting... feels like we're getting close to the end. I could probably speed this up if I just left that damn Mystic Portal alone, but we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, that's it for now. So, have a great day.